Me and George have changed the oil on our BMWs quite a few times now and uh, we feel confident to make this amazing tutorial because everybody needs a tutorial on how to change the oil on, the, on a 22 year old car. It's very hard. It's very important and a lot, there is a big market for this video. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. without further ado, let's get into it. These are the tools you will need. It's a very simple job. So you need a ratchet with a and a 16 bit you need a 36 wrench or you know a bit whatever you have it just needs to be 36 a torque wrench a jack any jack will do we just have uh, a professional Hugh oh, Jackman. huge huge jack and uh, jack stands and obviously a BMW will suffice but this will probably yeah. It's BMW specific, so it can't be a BMW specific. Highly specific. A well container to contain the oil that's going to flow out of your car. So it's very important that the car is well level when it's in the air. You can't really see it on video that our garage has a slight slope. Uh, toward the front end so when we jack the car up on the jack stands on their lowest point like this uh, the car is give or take kind of level. kind of level now cool suggested what is suggested the best way to do this is either with a lift yep. a hole in the ground where you can stick yourself in or four jack stands so the car is level we don't have any of those, so we proceed with what we have. George, this is a tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> so step one, get the car up in the air. Yep. So if you find yourself in a situation where your jack is not, well, low enough, it's not a low profile jack, uh, you need to do this. You can do this by yourself, but it's easier when there's two of you. Yep. So we're currently struggling to get the jack on the jacking point. So we need to do this. There we go. Highly professional. It's very important for the jack to be able to move. Jacks like this, to be able to move forward while you're jacking. Otherwise you will have issues like George is currently having, uh, where it's a bit too hard to... There we go, and now it's moving. Yep. That's what needs to happen. Once the car is jacked up, George, you get your jack stand. You get a piece of cardboard or anything to just cover the metal because this will be we will be putting this on the car's frame rail. The reason is we're already using the jacking point. It's very optimal to put the jack stand on the frame rails, which are well, you can see them running along the car. They're very solid metal pieces of metal. Wow. And it's good. Jack stand one is on, and then you slowly, softly lower the jack. There we go. Check to see if it's sitting correctly. No issues, nothing sideways, and it's good. <laughs> The car is, you can see ever so slightly in the air. Obviously this is not optimal for working on the car, but it gives us ample space to, well, get underneath the car and to remove the oil drain plug. This is optimal, this whole thing is best to be done when the car has been driven uh, and well, it's warm. The reason you want the car to be warm is so the pl the, the blood the blue of the car. so the oil drains quicker from the engine because it's warmer. That is called metaphysics. George. Yes, metaphysics. It's also good if you're laying in underneath the car to get yourself something to lay on so you're not sitting on the floor because obviously you can do this in, out in front of your house. You can do this anywhere that it's legal, I guess. The bolt for the oil drain plug 
is hidden behind a little uh, plate that is not present on this car, but it's, you can see it here on this video. That's the drain plug. Now, if your car has been changed, if the oil has been changed uh, correctly, that oil drain plug should be very easy to be uh, to be untightened because it's tightened to around 25 newton meters. Yeah, which is not a lot. How to tutorial? How to do tutorial? <laughs> Open, that's it. Yep. So now you need to unscrew the thing. You need to get your container to contain the oil that is that will shoot out. It will shoot out towards the passenger side of the car. You can see the prime view of George unscrewing it. You can see how there's a lot of oil outside of the oil pan. <laughs> but the oil drain plug looking very nice. And there we go. Now that was a lot less dramatic than mine. <laughs> Whilst you're here, you can expect, inspect where your car is leaking oil from. Apparently, George is leaking from everywhere. The oil pan for sure. Oh, so, well, that's it for now. You just let this drain and then you struggle to get out of the vehicle. So, whilst you're wiping your hand off, depends on if there are two people working on the car, George here struggling to wipe his dirty hands off, you you open up your engine compartment. Engine you need to open up the engine compartment. <laughs> Using the engine compartment opener tool. <laughs> you open up while you, you open the engine while admiring your heritage original. Original. Original BMW M Sport heritage emblem. And then you Oh, you're here, man. So you pop you pop this bad boy off a bit. The dip stick <laughs> you open up the dipstick so there's like vacuum or something it's, it's not here. vacuum but bro it's like there, so there isn't a vacuum okay so there is no vacuum i was halfway there <laughs> i was almost right almost and then on the prayer. And then you oh fuck me george and you and your fucking weird ass saying man it's time for the fun part that is not so fun you get your 36 spanner or you know, wrench, racket, r wrench, racket, racket. Check with the wrench spanner and oyster smash for us on British English in the United Kingdom English. So, George shall show you how to open this thing. So, there we go. It should not be, should not be too hard. It should. It says on the cap twenty-five newton meters. So. So again, these are basically the same as the as, oil as the oil plug. plug. So these really do, should not be super tight. I know a lot of very bad mechanics do this. Over t they over tighten these things and you should not. Uh, obviously, if you do not have a torque, torque wrench. You can you tighten by hand, but not too, too hard. It's Get yourself a some kind of towel. And a helper. And a helper, yeah. Get yourself a towel so you don't start dripping everywhere. And then you just remove the oil, the old oil filter. Filter removed. Set the filter aside so you can inspect it afterwards. Just so you know, there's nothing uh, nefarious happening inside your engine. And after that, just plonk it back down so there is no dust going into the engine. So on the oil, filter housing there is a gasket there is a small rubber gasket there there is a rubber gasket that needs to be removed and changed Elsa shut up get yourself some some kind of tool and just pry it out but obviously you need to be careful so you don't damage the the housing the housing so with your oil filter we strongly suggest buying a nice Oil filter, a nice branded one, Marle, serious, uh, it's a serious brand. You will get a new, a new gasket for the oil filter, and a new washer, a new washer, maybe crush, a new washer for your oil drain plug.
This all comes with the kit. So you only need to buy a filter and oil. You need to lube up the gasket with some oil. That's one way to do it. I prefer to do to do it this way. To do the dip. Stick. <laughs> oh yeah, the dip. This is a very, very simple job. Really nothing to worry about. Even though me and George in the beginning, back when we first did it, were quite worried. But now we are very seasoned, so... So you need to put the filter in the housing and then put the housing and the filter in the oil filter hole. And Noises are to be expected. You will get to around here by hand and then you need to get the big tool again. So it is actually very visible when this ends. There is no gap. But visually see if there is a gap and if you need to tighten more. You can always give it all one more, but it's it that's it. It's really 25 Newton meters is very, very, very little. So you really should not uh, over tighten this. You're done with the top end. Now you need to go and close the bottom. Close the bottom. So you get your oil drain bolt and then you install the new washer, crush washer, Dichtung. Dichtung on it, and you go underneath the car. Again. Again. So first tighten it by hand and then start going at it with the with the ratchet. And then at some point it will just become hard and then you need you need the torque wrench. Get your torque wrench. Depending on what kind of wrench you have, you need to set it. So you set up the torque wrench. <coughs> so you might run into something like this. The torque wrench cannot be does not have a click in it because the, the space is too tight. You can just jack the car up slightly so you can uh, successfully use the torque wrench. So the car is still on a jack stand. Obviously this one is not holding anything but the other one is still holding something. So not completely stupid what we're doing. So finally got it. And that's it. After all of that is done, you get your oil. Uh, these are the brands we suggest. I will put them on the screen. Uh, what I also suggest is using a funnel because of this. But George seems to, well, yeah, okay. He's doing much better than what I succeeded in doing. So yeah, these are the oils I, we, strongly suggest using on M54 engined BMWs. So the, you can spill a bit. So the car takes 6.5 liters of oil, but strongly suggested you should first pour around six liters. You should pour around six liters and then lower the car so it's level and then check by the dipstick. And after that, you check the dipstick and you make sure it doesn't go over, as some oil can be left in the car. Not only can some oil be left in the car, there is a high chance it will be left. We got our second bottle, we are using 5 litre bottles, so we will pour 1 litre out of this one, so exactly 6 litres of oil will be inserted into the vehicle before we will burn it. Yes, that comes with the territory. It says burn, burn oil, man. No, no, burn water. It says burn Maslow with water. <laughs> you should use a funnel. Six, uh, six liters inside of the vehicle. Whilst you're here in the engine bay, you can see, you can look for common E46 issues, like your body, the the body shearing itself out of. The other parts of the body, George. <laughs> George, your car is trying to leave the car. <laughs> After you're done pouring the oil, or at least done pouring six liters, you can go underneath the car and just make sure 
if the vehicle is not leaking oil from the oil drain plug because that is possible and it's not and it's not so George can vacate the premises and we can start lowering the car which is pretty self-explanatory jack up one end remove one jack stand and rinse and repeat you can check how the oil filter looks for uh, metal shavings and such in particular we're currently finding things Stappy, please tell us what this is uh, but it is not metal it's just a lot of dirt which should I guess the filter is doing its job but why is there so much dirt I don't know we'll see in the next change yeah strongly advised to change oil between 8,000 and, and 10,000 kilometers for the E46 M54 this is it is shining but that's because it's oil yeah yep it that is dirt just do a quick check of the oil dipstick if your car is level ours is not we know there are at least six liters in this vehicle so uh we will take it out to a more level place than our garage but that's it that's the oil change very quick yep. very easy thank you for watching this professional tutorial subscribe for more paypal me george is dirty poverty